Oh, her life has changed. I am reversing and aging though, Benjamin Button style. I always wanted to be a dad. And now he's here, I'm shit scared. <laughs> I don't actually know what I would do without my fiance. I mean, she is absolutely a natural. I'm taking a little bit longer than her. He is now seven weeks and three days old. Bodie James Dickerson. Sorry about the last name, mate. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is, my pre-workout, which is an apple. I don't often take other pre-workouts because they make me feel weird and I prefer to feel normal focused within my workouts. And there is research behind apples actually being good. I don't know what it is because it's some long words that I didn't remember. When people start training, they always seem to do like chest and tricep. This is kind of whenever you first start training, you know, it's like typical bench press, bench press, bench press. For some reason, I was completely different and I just did back day way more than chest. So that's why my back is way more developed than my chest. My back is stronger than my chest. Everything about my back is just better. And I believe that's what, you, what happens whenever you start training, whatever you kind of do from the beginning, a lot is what you're gonna be best at. And for some reason, I'm the opposite of everyone else. So I'm going for back day. I'm gonna put you through an absolute killer workout. One of my standard basic ones that I've done from the very beginning, the foundations of bodybuilding, baby, old school. Just the standard warm up going down. Always warming up the rotator cuffs now. Old age kicking in. I'm sure you're probably wondering, how old are you? I'm actually 34 years young. I feel like I don't look it though, unless you get the wrong angle and get my gray hair in. I'll probably spend around five to 10 minutes just doing this, doing around three sets of each movement. So kind of three sets, pulling out. Three sets, around. I'm not saying that I'm an expert, you know? Still learning. That's the best thing about fitness. There is no finish line. Yeah, everybody's doing back. I'm doing my first YouTube video I've done in so long, and everybody's turning back today as well. <laughs> as you can see, it's extremely busy, so I'm just gonna be warming up on what I can. This is essentially a lap pull down machine. But I'm just gonna be getting the back warm. I always do three to four sets, just getting blood into the muscle before I go into my working sets. I think the lap pull down is free, so I'm gonna use that. So one session I'll start with kind of pull-ups, a pull from above, and another back session I'll start with a row from in front, and I'll warm up with that first exercise. So as I'm doing lap pull down, my first exercise is gonna be pull-ups. You know, I'm just working up in weight. I've got it on 63 right now. Obviously every machine's different, but I'll kind of go up two pins every warm-up set, staying away from failure, but making sure I'm still working and getting blood in the muscle. Now I'm gonna go over to pull-ups and then we'll crack on from there. All right, so we're gonna do some pull-ups and basically what I'm gonna try and do is lift some weight. I like to do, it's cause I got a belly top, like a fucking crop top every time I talk or lift up my arms. I prefer to do this grip Essentially, it just is better on my elbows. You know, for years I was doing pull-ups here and it just hurts my elbows. They don't really have that grip on this machine, so I am gonna be doing more of this grip and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do one set of body weight and go from there. It's so busy today, everything's taken, even the belt to add weight. So I'm gonna mix up my workout, I'm gonna do wide grip into close grip. It's gonna be tough. Wow, 
And that's only the first set. Ah, a great tip for getting bigger biceps is not doing loads of bicep curls. It's doing loads of pull-ups. I mean, if you look at gymnasts, their biceps are always insane. And you don't see them doing bicep curls, but you sure as hell see them doing a lot of pull-ups. So get those variations going on those pull-ups. Wide grip, close grip, neutral grip, reverse grip. All the grips and your biceps will grow. When it comes to pull-ups, I do love adding weight just to mix it up and build up that strength. So getting a belt and adding a plate. I've never been one of the strongest people in the gym, that is for sure. But it's all about mixing it up and keeping your workouts varied. Keep those muscles guessing. I find if I'm just doing heavy weighted pull-ups every single week, week in, week out, you know, I adapt very quickly. So what I'll do is mix in something like I'm doing now. Obviously my goal was to do weighted pull-ups today, but I've been doing them for a few weeks in a row. A good way to mix it up by doing something like this, wide grip into close grip. It's time to move on to exercise number two. I've done my big compound from above. Now I'm gonna do my big compound from in front. I love to mix it up between bent over row, T-bar row, one arm row, but there's nothing that beats a dumbbell one arm row. These are the bomb. This is probably my number one all time back building exercise, but dumbbell one arm row. There's different ways to do this, but the way I do it is rowing more lower into your waist. Lots of times I see people just pulling straight up. What I want to be doing is having more of an arc into my pole, pulling more into my waist rather than into my chest. It's going to help create more tension onto the lat. So rather than just pulling up here, I'm going to be pulling into my waist. First set, just getting warm. We can lift heavy on these ones. To really engage your back, you need to think about and focus on where you're pulling from. From your wrist to your elbow, it's gonna be more engaging your biceps. So if you're squeezing it really hard, you're gonna be putting more tension on the bicep. You wanna have a more relaxed hook grip and focus on pulling through your elbow because your elbow to your shoulder is what's gonna be engaging the lat. So rather than just bending your arm straight away on the one arm row, focus on pulling through your elbow first, bringing in the lat engagement, then secondary bicep. Let's up the weight, baby. Wow. I always forget I have to do the second arm. Yeesh. If you're not pulling faces when you're training, you are not working hard enough. Progression is key and I'm going up in weight, but I'm not going to go up enough to where it starts sacrificing the muscle I'm trying to work. I don't want to then recruit and use other muscles to assist the movement. My focus is on my lats, so I'm going to keep it there by not going too crazy with the weight, but also getting outside my comfort zone. Whenever I'm doing single arm exercises, you know, I started my first two sets, left arm, then right arm. Now the last two sets, I'm going to start with my right arm, then left arm. I'll either do it like that, or I'll go left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Sounds confusing, but it makes sense. Uh, 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 
All right, now it's back to a movement from above. Our main focus before, obviously, at the beginning was wide. Now we're going to do a close grip, but reverse grip. Obviously, you can't really just train your lower lats, but you can recruit more fibers from those areas. And by doing reverse grip, that is going to help target the lower portion of those lats. Your insertions are your insertions, though you can't change genetics and where your lats are. Some people have higher lats, some people have lower. I have quite low lats, which is quite fortunate. A good tip if you're struggling to get engagement, really in any muscle, is to focus the mind to muscle connection on the lowering of the weight. Whenever I'm lowering the weight, I'm connecting my mind to my lat. As that movement is slower, you have more time to put the engagement in. Once I've got that on the lowering, then I really focus that pain within my lats and pull through it and then repeat. Mind to muscle, mind to muscle, mind to muscle. Pull through that feeling and work that into the reps. And really, you can use that for every single muscle. That's a great way to improve your mind to muscle connection. So as I said in the beginning, I'll always have a kind of more focus, whether that's from in front or from above, but I always like to hit the main angles. So the main angles will be close from in front, wide from in front, wide from above, close from above and then your lever motions and those are all for your kind of upper back not including the lower back but those are your six five main angles that i like to hit within every session but have a focus within that session <sighs> <sighs> I don't know what it is, I've just always been able to engage my lats more than any other muscle. Weird. Now it's time to focus more on the upper back. And this is where I like to increase the reps a little bit higher to more around the 12 mark rather than eight and 10. That first set still working. We're just getting a feel for it. So I know I can up the weight now. Do not underestimate the power of the full range of motion. We want to be working all our upper back muscles. This is going to be limiting them. Limiting them. Limiting them. Limit. 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 Take two. Limiting them by doing this. But we want to have the full stretch to really get that engagement and pulling through. Not just small reps. Long reps. Today's last exercise is going to be the last angle we haven't done, which is our lever motion. A great tip for this exercise to help focus on pulling through those elbows is to have a slight bend. We don't want to have our elbows out. We want to point our elbows slightly down with a slight bend. Fuck. 
as my back workout, absolutely crushed. I do love volume, it's just something I've done throughout my 15 years of training. Like it or not, it gives me results. Ooh. And now after that hardcore tensing, <laughs> it's time to go home and get that post-workout meal. Let's go. Now it is on to that next meal, feeding the body what it needs to grow. I've had my post-workout shake, which I'll go into in another video. Basically, even having that for 15 years straight. Basically, been eating the same thing for 15 years straight. But guys, it is so pointless wasting your hard effort in the gym with a poor diet. Keep it on track. Guys, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. I'm going to be posting loads more videos with my nutrition, training, and just life. Let's go.